8 Awesome Rider Review. Hello YouTube, this is Dawson Rider here with my review of SH Fig Arts Common Rider Gatok. Um, him and another Agito just recently re-released, so they're technically new releases, so I'll be reviewing both of them. Um, as always with these figures, let's get started with the packaging. Standard Fig Arts packaging with a nice picture of Gatok right here. Um, obviously there's no figure in there. It says Mouse Rider Gatok on the side. There's a Kabuto logo. On the top it just says SH Fig Arts Mouse Rider Gatok and his name on both sides. And on the back, as always, it shows pictures and poses that you can do with him. Um, I actually kind of wish that since they reissued him with um, not too far along from the release of Double that they could have put Common Rider on there, but that's alright. Um, accessories wise, he comes with six different hands, so three different sets. The punchy hands, which um, he was on him when he came in the packaging, the splayed open molester hands, and the hands I have on him which are holding things hands for the um, blades that he gets right here which are on his shoulders. And let me show them quick for detail. The detail on these guys are really outstanding as usual. Great paint and sculpt. And they go on here at the side here. One of them has a hole on the sword and then there's this one of course which once again has great paint detailings and then this one has a peg which goes into this I usually actually like to keep the swords on there because I don't like seeing the peg sticking out of his shoulders so detail wise this guy looks really nice um, obviously all the Kabuto yeah that's right Kabuto uh, bodies are pretty similar um, the legs especially and the arms are very similar and you can even see under here under his shoulder pads this is basically the Kabuto shoulder blade with these over it, and his chest plate's a little different. But detail-wise, Gatok is one of my favorite, and I'm not sure why I never picked him up in his initial release. I guess there were just other deals that were coming by, but the blue on this guy looks really spectacular. It really shines in a nice glossiness. As you can see, the camera makes it look even better than it does, well, in person right now. But the, the glossiness and the, um, the sheen of this looks really nice, as usual, and his face sculpt is really, really great. Um, outstanding paint detailings in here and even the textures and obviously the compound eyes and his face just looks outstanding as you can see and then there's his rider jewel and just overall outstanding uh, details on this guy and his belt is even done very very well you can see here um, articulation wise um, standard figure arts articulation with a great joint and this this shoulder pad actually allows for quite a bit of mobility double joint here, swivel, swivel, and um, his waist can bend around, and if you can see here, this, these are actually two separate parts so we can get more waist articulation. Legs on a great 360 joint move all around and pop off apparently, oh, sorry about that, and um, double knee joint, um, swivel, swivel, and uh, toe joint. And all my joints on this figure are very tight, unlike my double figure. I love the double figure, but I don't know why the joints are so loose. Um, and you can put the swords in his hands. Um, but one thing I should say is they hold in there okay, but they don't hold in as nicely as I would have thought. Um, they're actually a little bit loose, and when I'm just kind of messing around with them like that, they'll come out. So that's kind of a complaint against it, is I wish that the hands just held them a little bit better than they do. But you can get him some really dynamic poses with the blades. If you can get him to stay in right, so you can hold them like this or whatever. Um, also, you can do his uh, rider cutting technique. Let me just take him out to uh, show that. Looks like he'll be doing a weird party pose or whatever. Um, just line up the holes and pegs. Whoops, works up reverse. How do you do this? Why am I being an idiot? There we go. Nope. Here we go. Alright, I don't know why I had a, uh, a brain fart there. Okay, so there you go. And they actually pretty much work like scissors. You can't open them very well, but they work like scissors. And because of the quality of the plastic, if you do this to yourself, it actually can hurt. And it leaves marks in my fingers. Um, but anyway, this is a really nice feature that they actually work. And you can put them in his hands so that they work correctly. Moment of silence for putting weapons in hands. Okay, there we go. Nope. There we go. And Gotok can be a douche and keep dropping shit I'm trying to put in his hand. Okay, there we go. So he can hold them like this. You can have him uh, cutting open or doing a cooler pose with the scissors. It's a nice feature, but I don't think I display him with the giant scissors. 
it's kind of weird ish but um it still looks cool and it's, an, it's nice that they did that they didn't have to do that but they did so um, the last thing I'm going to do in this review is compare him quickly to my Sochaku Henshin Gatak while he still lives here because I'm probably going to sell him since I don't need him anymore um, I just got the Sochaku Henshin I actually got it when Fig Arts was already out but I mainly got it for the mask form and I got Gatak and Kabuto's uh, Sochaku Henshin sets for a really cheap price from Ranger Board member JP so thank you to, for, to him for that so here's a comparison to the old-fashioned Sochaku Henshin Gatak. Obviously, Fig Arts is a lot taller. Um, Color-wise, Gatak, um, I don't know if you can tell as much on camera, but Gatak is a darker color. This one, the SH Fig Arts, is a slight darker color. And his armor looks overall a lot better, obviously. You can just tell the differences. And just the differences in sleekness and then mobility, obviously. This guy has far better articulation. And um, the face, there's really no comparison in the face. Um, just even how the horns look, the horns are a lot darker and more shot accurate, and the compound eyes, you can't beat those compared to this. And the blades, um, actually the detail on these blades isn't too bad, but Fig Arts is far superior. So if you're shopping for a Gotok figure, since he just re-released, I highly recommend um, the SH Fig Arts version. He's a great figure, 9 out of 10. If you love Kagami, I definitely recommend him. Definitely get him over the... Um, Sochaku Henshin version, even if you like the mast form. It's just definitely more worth it. So overall, a great buy. Highly recommend it. Just a few updates. There's going to be quite a few Fig Arts reviews coming as I was waiting for this new camera to be filming all of them. I believe the next one will be another Agito. And then there will also be um, two exclusives that I managed to get my hands on. Um, Amazing Mighty Kuga and um, New Dan Vega form. And there will be a bunch of CS Toys birthday stuff and I'll probably have to sneak a few Ben 10 reviews in there for my Ben 10 people. So just be patient. So uh, thank you for watching, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. And until my next Fig Arts review, this is Dawson Ryder, signing out.